Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So this video is going to be a little bit different than every other video I've put on this channel so far. Um, a while back I talked about how I didn't just want to do makeup, I wanted to do other things as well. So I thought I would do a bit of a time lapse slash instructional video of an art, source of art, art channel. Anyway, it is called Diamond Dots, so I'm going to explain everything to you, show you what comes in it, and a time lapse of me completing this one. Um, I do want to say, as you can probably see by the box, these look very shabbily, um, not shabbily, but like very kiddish. However, I have a completed one here. This is what it actually looks like. This is obviously a different one. This is what it looks like completed. It does not look as kiddish as the box or even the websites that sell them. Um, I have done four other butterflies and then as you've previously seen, I've also done sunflowers. Uh, so I'm going to show you the red butterfly as I do it. And then I might do another whole video with another one I have, which is much bigger. Uh, so let's get into it. Sorry if the angle's weird. So this is the red butterfly. This is everything that comes in the box. Uh, we have the actual canvas. We have the pen, tray, and wax for our pen. And then these are the beads. This butterfly only has five colors to it. Um, that white butterfly I showed you before had nine colors and then the sunflowers had quite a few colors. So I'm going to show you what I do because um, oh, they also give you little baggies for the extra beads. However, um, to keep them straight I use a handy dandy label maker and sticker the bags just because it is easier than trying to like rip off these numbers as you can see each one is numbered so a one two three so on so I'm gonna quickly do that now you of course don't have to do this but it is the easiest way for me to keep track I also usually have a big Ziploc bag that I put everything in afterwards so that way it doesn't get everywhere. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to open this. I know I apologize it's sideways, I just I don't know how to have it set up behind me without knocking everything over. So you actually get 10 bags in each whether there's more than 10 colors, less than 10 colors. Um, to me, it's a bit silly. They should have the same amount of bags as they do different colors, but that's okay. So let, let's do this, shall we? So I just stick it on the bag at the top, so then when I've ripped open A1, I'll just put all the beads in here. By the way, you will have extra beads of every color unless you lose quite a few as you're doing it. Um, but if you're careful, you'll have lots of beads left over. I kept losing some on the uh, sunflower one, one of the gray ones, one of the gray colors, and I literally had just enough. Like, I used every single one that I had left. That was silly of me to be so careless, but... They kept flying everywhere. Okay, so now we have all the bags set up. I'm not going to rip these open until I use them, so I'm just going to put these off to the side. We have a bunch of just bags, so we're going to put that off to the side as well. We'll move everything here. We don't need the box anymore. Okay, and then this, as I said, is the canvas. So if you open it up, so an information sheet does come rolled up, um, it's 
how you can use it. I think they gave me two. I'm not sure. I already know, so it does curl a lot at the first, so I do end up having to put things on the edge. It does uncurl itself after a little bit. Okay, so this is the canvas. As you can see, there is a plastic film on top. You want to leave that there and just peel back what you need because there is a glue on here and the more you touch it, the less sticky it becomes, therefore the less the beads are going to stick to it. So just peel back what you need to do. They suggest doing a whole color at once. Um, I don't suggest doing that. I do sections at once because it is much easier for me. The legend is right here of the color and then the symbol is what's on here. So I'll take A1 and it's the dark circle. So I will do the dark circle here. Let me zoom you in if you can see. There we go. Okay, okay so those symbols are what's on the um, legend so that is what you go by for color wise. And we're gonna start now. I am gonna turn it towards myself. Actually, no, I'm not. I tend to do quarters, so we are gonna get going. So we have the tray, wax, and pen. So what you do with the wax, because the beads go in here, the dots go in here. So this is the wax. So all you do is put your pen in there it off and then your pen now has wax in it so it can pick up the dots easy and release easy as well make sure you do always close your wax or it will dry out very easily so let's get into it
it is now complete, fully done. All I have left to do is roll it because you put, oh god, that's a lot of fingerprints. You put the plastic back over it and roll over it with a rolling pin just to make sure the beads are pushed down into the adhesive um, so they don't fall off. <laughs> Pretty much what that is. And then how I frame them, I don't have any frames at the moment for the last two, but we cut along the edge here between the white and the background of the blue and we put it, uh, we cut that and then put it in the frame and it works pretty well for that. Um, if you want to see what the frames look like, just head over to my Instagram and you will find all the other ones I've done other than the white one because I haven't posted that one yet. Um, but yeah, this is the last butterfly I have as of right now. There's two other ones, um, but they're not sold in Canada yet, so I can't get them. But once they are, I will get them. However, it's time to move on to the peacock one.